Hello, this lesson will be about season extension. The objective of this class is to learn how to increase the amount of time that crops can be grown outdoors. In this class, we will talk about the tools used in farming to increase the amount of time crops can be grown outdoors. We will discuss how to use the tools correctly to be able to plant crops earlier in the growing season than normal and how to continue growing plants later than their normal growing season. The class agenda is to first learn the materials, second, how to plant earlier, third, how to plant later, and fourth, go over a review. Here is some new vocabulary you will need to know for this lesson. Crops are plants you grow for food, soil, the brown dirt you use to grow plants in, irrigation, a way to give water to your crops, you can see the photo on the right, weeds, plants you do not want in your garden. Some more vocabulary you will need to know. Pests, bugs you do not want in your garden. Temporary, something that lasts for a short period of time protection, keep something safe or stop it from being hurt, and sensitive, fragile, or easily hurt. The photo on the right is of some pests that are on a crop. Here are the materials you will need for this class. Wire hooping or PVC pipe, white garden fabric, shade cloth, and clear plastic. To get a better picture of the materials, here are some photos of them below. Wire hooping or PVC pipe. White garden fabric. Shade cloth. And clear plastic. First, you will learn to plant earlier in the season, in March and April, for spring frost and snow protection. Plants need sunlight, soil, water, and warmth to grow. If we want to plant outdoors earlier in the season, we need to look at which of these things are missing and if there is a way we can give them to the plant before nature usually does. Growing crops outside, we cannot give the plants more sunlight the way they do inside in some greenhouses and grow rooms with special light bulbs. We already have the soil on the farm, and we already provide the water with our irrigation systems. The only thing left that we can do is provide warmth or protection from the cold. In the photos below, you can see how crops have been affected by snow. On the left is corn, and on the right are peppers. And here you can see plants are being provided warmth. So we can do this in several ways. One way is a high tunnel. High tunnels are greenhouses without heat that are usually built two meters and four and a half meters tall and around four and a half meters to nine meters wide. They are covered in clear plastic that allows sunlight to enter and heat the soil. The plastic keeps in some heat, allowing for crops to be grown earlier. Low tunnels. Low tunnels are temporary and are usually between a half a meter to a meter tall and around one meter to two meters wide. They can be covered in clear plastic or white garden fabric. They also let sunlight enter and heat the soil, keep in some heat, and allow for crops to be grown earlier. Wire hoops. Wire hoops are made of thick metal wire bent into a half circle. These wire hoops are used to make low tunnels. To use them, push each end of the wire about 16 centimeters into the soil between one and a half meters to two and a half meters apart. PVC pipes. PVC pipes are made of hard plastic. They can be used to make low tunnels as well. If you buy them straight, you will have to bend them into a half circle. To use them, 
First bend them, then push each end about 16 centimeters into the soil and place them between one and a half meters to two and a half meters apart. Also for low tunnels, cover the hoops with clear plastic or white garden fabric as you see on the far right. All the edges of the clear plastic or white garden fabric need to be weighed down with rocks and or covered with soil to prevent weed seeds and pests from getting in and heat from getting out. You can see this on the right as well. In this photo here, you can see where rocks can be placed on your plastic or fabric to keep it held down. Clear plastic. Clear plastic can be used on low or high tunnels to let sunlight in to heat the soil. It does not let water or air in or out. Sometimes it can be too good at keeping in heat, so farmers need to make sure that their low tunnels do not get too hot. White garden fabric. White garden fabric can keep out pests and weed seeds, can protect crops from wind, and keep in some heat. Both white garden fabric and clear plastic let in sunlight and trap heat, but white garden fabric also lets air and water in and out, while clear plastic does not. Now we will learn how to grow crops later in the season. In July and August, crops need summer shade, and in October and November, crops need protection from the cold. Growing later in the season, crops may face two different problems. One problem occurs in July and August when there is too much heat and too much sunlight. The sun can become very strong and burn some crops, especially peppers or salad greens. In the photos below, there are tomatoes on the right. Luckily, there is a solution for this. One solution is shade cloth. Shade cloth is a dark fabric that blocks some sunlight to protect crops that are sensitive to hot summer temperatures and strong summer sunlight. On the right, you can see two ways you can block sunlight. On the top, you can build a low tunnel with shade cloth over the top. On the bottom, you can create your own structure using the materials you have. In the bottom photo, you can see that they use wooden poles and string to tie shade cloth over the crops. White garden fabric. White garden fabric lets more sunlight in than shade cloth, but still gives crops some protection from too much summer sunlight. As you can see on the right, that is a low tunnel built with white garden fabric. The second problem with growing later in the season is not having enough heat for your crops. This happens in October and November when it gets cold outside. In October and November, crops have some of the same problems they have in early spring. We can fix the problem of plants being cold the same way with high tunnels, low tunnels again, clear plastic, and white garden fabric. Okay, now let's review. We can protect plants with high and low tunnels. On the left, there is a photo of a high tunnel. High tunnels are taller and larger than low tunnels. And the low tunnel on the right you can build yourself. Planting when it's cold outside. Using clear plastic or white garden fabric on low or high tunnels allows us to keep in heat, keep plants warm, and grow earlier in the spring and later in the fall. Protecting crops from the sun. Using shade cloth or white garden fabric we can block sunlight and keep crops cool. This lets us grow plants sensitive to heat, like peppers and leafy greens, later in the summer. Here is how you can build a low tunnel in your own garden or farm. First, 
put metal wire hoops or PVC pipes into the ground over your crops. Second, cover the hoops with clear plastic or white garden fabric. Third, weigh down the plastic or fabric with rocks and or soil. For best method, make sure the bottom of the clear plastic or white garden fabric is weighed down with rocks and or soil. Now you will have built a low tunnel to protect your crop so you can grow them for a longer period of time. Thank you for learning about season extension. We are now at the end of the lesson.